Welcome back to Read Aloud of Despero. It's been a little bit, but we're going to get back into it here. Um, Mig and Roscaro and P have gone down into the dungeon. And, or they're heading on their way down. Um, and Roscaro is enacting some kind of plan to get revenge on P for the situation where he fell in her mom's soup and got blamed for her death. And Mig wants to be the princess, but we all know that's probably not going to happen. So let's continue here. I'm going to sneeze. And then we're going to read. <laughs> Told you. Chapter 38, To the Dungeon. The strange threesome made their way down the golden stairs of the castle. The princess and Mig walked side by side, and Roscaro hid himself again in the pocket of Mig's apron, and Mig pointed the sharp tip of the knife at the princess's back, and together they went down, down, down. The princess was led to her fate as around her everyone slept. The king slept in his giant bed with his crown on his head and his hands crossed on his chest, dreaming that his wife, the queen, was a bird with green and gold feathers who called his name Philip, 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 without ceasing. Cook slept in a too small bed off the kitchen, dreaming of a recipe for soup that she could not find. Where did I put that, she mumbled in her sleep. Where did that recipe go? It was for the queen's favorite soup. I must find it. And not far from Cook in the pantry, atop a bag of flowers, slept the mouse Despero, dreaming, as you know, reader, of knights in shining armor, of darkness, and of light. And in the whole of the darkened, sleeping castle, there was only the light of the candle in the hand of Miggery Sal. The candle shone on the princess's dress and made it sparkle, and the princess walked tall in the light and tried not to be afraid. In this story, reader, we have talked about the heart of the mouse and the heart of the rat and the heart of the serving girl, Miggery Sal, but we have not talked about the heart of the princess. Like most hearts, it was complicated, shaded with dark and dappled with light. The dark things in the princess's heart were these, a very small, very hot, burning coal of hatred for the rat who was responsible for her mother's death. And the other darkness was a tremendous sorrow, a deep sadness that her mother was dead and that the princess could now only talk to her in her dreams. And what of the light in the princess's heart? Reader, I am pleased to tell you that the P was a kind person and perhaps more important, she was empathetic. Do you know what it means to be empathetic? I will tell you. It means when you are being forcibly taken to a dungeon when you have a large knife pointed at your back, when you are trying to be brave, you are able still to think for a moment of the person who is holding that knife. You are able to think, oh, poor Mig. She wants to be a princess so badly and she thinks that this is the way. Poor, poor Mig. What must it be like to want something that desperately? That, reader, is empathy. And now you have a small map of the princess's heart Hatred, sorrow, kindness, empathy. The heart that she carried inside her as she went down the golden stairs and through the kitchen, and finally, just as the sky outside, the castle began to lighten, down to the dark of the dungeon with the rat and the serving girl. I'd say based on my reading today, I would be able to describe the Princess P pretty well. I have some ideas about her actions and her thoughts especially, not very many about her words, but the way she is thinking is telling me that she is such and such, such a way. And even the, the author goes ahead and tells me that she has hatred and sorrow and kindness and empathy. So I would be able to use those descriptions from the author to give her some traits, some things that are true about her all the time. I would say that she is a warm person. She cares about others. She has kindness and empathy. She's warm. I would say that she also is a troubled person. She is dealing with hatred and sorrow. She has a lot of difficulties in her life. She is a troubled person. Troubled, but warm. Those are two character traits that I would say that our princess, the P, has. As we continue, let's see if we can figure out some traits for our characters as we read on toward the end of Despero. Talk to you next time.